The image in indirect ophthalmoscopy is real and inverted. The usual confusion a beginner has is when one is looking at 6 o'clock fundus, are they looking at the 6 o'clock fundus or the 12 o'clock fundus? When one is looking at the 6 o'clock fundus, it is the 6 o'clock fundus which is seen, but the image seen in the lens is laterally and vertically inverted. In indirect ophthalmoscopy, the observer's pupils are brought together with the use of prisms, the light source, the condensing lens, and the patient's pupil should be in a single axis. When any of these components are not in this axis, a good binocular image will not be seen. All the components on this axis can be kept in a single line if one can bend at the back rather than at the neck when trying to visualize the peripheral regions of the fundus. A good way to practice indirect ophthalmoscopy is to follow the blood vessels from the disc to the periphery and back without losing track of them.